Hello, in today's video we will create whole NFT marketplace worthy OpenSea thread where we can buy, sell and list NFTs in less than 10 minutes. So let's hop into it. First of all, let's go for the deploy new contract. Uh, let's find NFT collection and let's deploy it. Uh, now we will say why we need that because uh, for the listing of the, of the NFTs we need to create NFTs first and if we do that we can go strictly after that to our marketplace, pass our contract address with the NFT collection and also choose the token IDs and after that we will mint those NFTs and we will list them. So let's get the metadata through. Let's go for the deploy. It will not change anything uh, like advanced. Okay, uh, now we have the contract ready. And as you can see, we have a lot of uh, tabulators. Uh, we can find out a lot of information, for example, in the sources. But if you're curious about uh, what's that contract about, uh, you can check our previous video that we mentioned about and we were talking about those contracts using FirdWeb. Now, let's create some NFTs because now we have the NFT collection, we will go to the NFTs tab and we will mint maybe three NFTs. We don't care about the names right now, right? We just want to create simple NFTs for you. Okay, now we have all the NFTs we need. So now we can go to the section where we will be deploying the whole NFT marketplace using FirdWeb. And here, if you don't want to go full digen, then make sure to read the technical docs and they're actually useful. It's not only technical mumbo jumbo, but uh, it's pretty good at explaining the, for example, differences between direct and auction listings. So you have the business logic information here. And for example, you can see that direct listings are low commitment, where you can just uh, list your NFTs on various marketplaces. But in action listings, you commit your own NFT and you can't list it anywhere. In fact, you transfer the ownership of the NFT to our marketplace. But on the other hand, you have a guaranteed payout, which is uh, scrolled in the marketplace. So make sure to check the docs. They are very useful. And uh, now let's deploy the marketplace. I'll call it my marketplace. I'll skip the image and description, but uh, you can set it, of course. And in the advanced configuration, I want to have 5% marketplace fees for every sale. So I'll set it to 5% and make sure to do this all on Girly Network. The contracts have been created and you can see that you have tons of functions. We have many useful tabs, including sources. Well, you can see the source code for all of the contracts included here. But if you want to learn more about the interface and how to navigate it, make sure to check our previous video with uh, many other useful project examples. We'll leave a link in the description. And now regarding this marketplace, we just want to copy the address to this. And we will use it in our web application. And now finally, let's create our web application. To do this, first we have to go to GitHub, to the third web example slash marketplace. And if you go back, you can see that it actually has many other useful starter kits, including many technologies and also uh, many other project ideas. But we'll stay uh, here and we'll use marketplace with Next.js uh, using TypeScript and copy the comment here to create this repository. Now heading to our ID of choice, in our case, VSC, I'll make sure to navigate to a folder where I want to install the marketplace. And here I paste the command. If it doesn't work and you encounter any syntax errors here, make sure to update your Node.js to at least 0.08. Otherwise you have the errors. And now, as you can see, it started a very simple uh, setup for the project. Actually, it's just project name. So I'll call it uh, my marketplace like before. And now it's ready. If in your case, it's missing an auth dependency, then make sure to install it using this command. And if the additional dependencies show conflicts, then make sure to resolve them using, for example, legacy peer depths. 
And uh, in our case, everything's fine. So we can start the web project. But before we do that, let's uh, try to browse it first. And this is the repository. As you can see, it has a few folders and uh, components and node modules are generic. We don't really care about that, but you can see that we have the pages with the index. So the main page, it's pretty simple and easy to change made in TypeScript. We have our create page where we can list our NFTs. We have our app page with the whole setup and listing which is something that the customer sees when he wants to place a bid. Now moving on to two other important things, which is env example. And I think that this thing isn't used anywhere. So it was useless in our case. So we leave it as that, but something that's very useful is addresses.ts. And here you can see the comment that we need to put our address of our marketplace here instead of the generic one. If you don't do this, you'll be using the uh, shared marketplace, which can be already used in other products. So I'll copy the address and place the address to our marketplace. Now let's open the terminal again. In my case, control and J and let's run the application. So NPM run dev. Dev stays for development, of course. Here you can see that the server has just started. Our web app is running on port 3000. Control and left click to open it in the browser. And here is our dashboard. You can see that there are no NFTs yet because we haven't created a listing here. Our wallet is connected and you can disconnect it. You can connect it here. So uh, pretty neat. And what we want to do here is since we created a NFT collection, we want to list some of the NFTs here. So now what I want to do is to go back to our NFT collection, copy the address and use it here. So I'll paste the address here, paste the token ID. It will be zero, one, two, three, four, uh, however many you created and sale price. So something very low so that we can test the functionality easily. And we, here we select direct or auction listing and just click on list NFTs. And a quick hint here, if you have any problems with your, with your NFT collection, just go back to it and mint some new NFTs that you can use. You can do this whenever you want. As you can see, those are the NFTs I've just listed, but uh, I have the last one, which I want to list. So I'll paste the address again, token ID four, sell price. And here, what I can do is select the auction listing, which will lock the NFT in, transfer it uh, to the marketplace, transfer the ownership of the NFT. And now we have all three ready. So if I want to open it, I just click on it. And here I can make an offer. So let's say I don't want to pay the full price. So I can make an offer like this. The offer will be made on chain. So I need to confirm a transaction. Or if I'm ready to buy, I just click on the buy button and confirm the transaction. And as you can see, it's not listed anymore because I've just bought it. So the owner has changed. And it's also respected by other marketplaces because if you browse it on OpenSea, you can go to the NFT and see the history and see that it was transferred from this address to me. So from the marketplace to my own address. So that's it. If you like our content, make sure to like and subscribe because we create new videos weekly, very useful videos with practical content. And regarding the marketplace, this is a great base for your own project because if you want to make it your own, you can just go to the marketplace sources and view all of the smart contracts. Of course, again, if you want to learn about all of the other tabs, make sure to check our other video about third web with other useful project examples. But if you want to uh, tweak the marketplace, you just go to marketplace.sol and see what's happening here. It's a pretty good smart contract, which you can modify. And the same thing stays for the web application. If you go to the VST, you can see that you can modify all of the pages and make it your own NFT marketplace. Thanks for watching and see you next time.